and we're back with another exciting episode of Dexter's New Blood. Episode 7, but I meant a couple movie watchers, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I, you know, we're excited to talk about the new Dexter episode. But if you love Dexter as much as we love Dexter, hey. make sure you hit that subscribe button, right? Mm-hmm. It really helps off the channel. We talk about all the latest and greatest when it comes to Dexter and more. But let's just jump into the Dexter episode, right? Because it was really, really good. Mm-hmm. It's uh, getting intense. It's getting intense. Like, um, we'll start from the beginning. We're going to have some spoilers if you didn't see it yet. Uh, if you're looking forward to seeing it, you might want to skip this video and come back to it. But we're going to share our love for this episode and what was our thoughts overall. So going to the beginning of the episode, I really enjoy seeing Dexter back in this element, mm-hmm. being a forensic scientist, right? Yeah. When he's in the cave, he's with his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend, and trying to figure out what happened. He's doing his thing. And that's one of the things you love about Dexter is because he is a forensic science a scientist. Uh, you, I'm glad to see him back on the scene doing what he does best, and that's trying to figure out and solve murders, mm-hmm. especially with the police. So I thought that was really good seeing him do that. Oh, it brings back memories. <laughs> it, it does bring back <laughs> yeah. memories. Um, From the last, um, you know, in the beginning of the season, of the first season, you know, mm-hmm. original Dexter episodes. The OG Dexter episode, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just seeing, it looks cool, like, seeing how he investigates and see, and he, you know, sees everything and pic- pictures how it all went down. Mm-hmm. And she just, you know, Angela didn't want to hear it, like, it was too much, but, you know, but she wanted to know the answers, so, you and know. He definitely gave her the answer, so I thought that was really cool there. Um, also like seeing Dexter talk to the Deb, you know, typically she's the voice of reason, but I like seeing him trying to convince her like, Hey, let's leave it to the police. And I like, and I like Dexter, you know, typically he's trying to kill the guy or the mm-hmm. person, but I like Dexter trying to leave it to the police instead of trying to kill the person yeah. uh, instead. So I thought that was really cool there. Him trying to really just, Hey man, I, I'm killed stay enough out of it. Yeah. Let me stay out of it. Let me actually help the police. Uh, with this murder investigation instead of trying to hamper the investigation. I thought that was really cool there. It's a little different than what, what you're used to with Dexter, so mm-hmm. that was really dope. And um, that actually led to the rest of uh, uh, Kurt. Uh, yeah. Him going to jail uh, really just... I thought that was, that was good. Like, they got him in jail. And I knew he was going to get out, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, even Deb was telling him, yeah, sure, the cop's going to do something. And then... <laughs> Yeah. Don't do nothing, right? And then, and I mean, he already knew deep down that they're not going to do anything. So I'm going to have to end up killing him. So yeah, because yeah. at the end of the day, it wouldn't be Dexter without you know him solving the crime. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, yeah. I think Angela's a better detective than Deb, but um, it doesn't matter how good a detective you are, as long as Dexter's on the scene, he's going to take care of it. But but the Dexter the crazy style. thing is like, you know how. Angela started talking to Molly again mm-hmm. and then they, they're talking about what happened, how he found out. And then she starts questioning Dexter's moves and it's just like, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. It's, uh, it's one of those things, man. There's only a couple of like two or three episodes left. So it's going to be interesting to see where it goes, man. Um, overall, I like the scene with Dexter talking to uh, Kirkland in the jail scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, I liked the way it was lit. It was lit very well. Uh, so I thought that was really dope from the TV show. It had a nice look to it. Also, I thought it was kind of dumb that he went there, but also it made a lot of sense because it let us know that he knows, now he knows that Kirk, Kirk knows, knows that he's the one who killed his son. Yeah. Now that puts a whole new spin between Harrison and Kirk's relationship. Yeah. Because you're thinking like, oh, well, he lost his son. He's looking at Harrison as a, as, you know, like a replacement, but no. He's using Harrison to get back at Dexter. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's uh, that's going to be interesting to see where it goes. Also, like, the part where... Um, the part? The part where... Ah, I had it in my head, but I can't think of it. <laughs> mm. But, um, yeah, like it's just getting more intense 
every episode since last episode it's just been getting more intense with like what's gonna happen next yeah and now we know that kurt actually knows that dexter is the one who did it mm-hmm. and i like the fact that he sent him that t- titanium uh metal oh. uh, uh bracket or whatever and he's like what the heck is this and you know now he knows that oh his son had surgery. Yeah, his son had surgery. So now he knows he made a mistake, um, mm-hmm. especially with the ash on his jacket. So, I mean, I mean he'd been knowing. He yeah. was just like pushing his buttons, you know? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see what happens with, uh, you know, it's interesting that Angela found found the killer, but Kirk was able to flip it. Because I was mm-hmm. wondering, like, how he's going to get out of jail. They got the DNA evidence. Mm-hmm. Like, what is he going to do to get out of jail? And he had to alibi. He had to get out of jail free well, card with his dad. Yeah, well, basically, the, also, like, from what what we've seen in those episodes, the killers always end up having a way out of it. Like, know how to tell their stories and know mm-hmm. how to lie about it. And then you see how he ended up killing her. Like, he, it's like a flashback for him. Mm-hmm. And then you see it and you're like, damn. Like, he's able to say all of that even though it's not the truth. Yeah, and he kind of started off kind of like a good guy. Mm-hmm. He did, he wanted to take her back home, but somehow instead of trying to save her, he just ended up killing her. So mm-hmm. in his mind, that's just how it happens. So. And it's just and then and then from what it, we've seen is like he talk he talks about how he he started becoming the way he was as a mm-hmm. killer because of his what he saw as a kid, and and then um, we get to see what Harrison saw. When he was a baby, that's the other thing. I was like, damn. Yeah, you know, I'm, you, you've been hating on Harrison, but man, Harrison hasn't seen his mom die. He was a kid. And that's why he chose the weapon he had, because that's mm-hmm. a weapon that the killer used on his mom. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. So we'll, end up, we'll see what happens, man. I think uh, I like the fact that I felt like, you know, Dexter and Harrison was getting close and then he ran off and. That's when the goodness happened. Like uh, Dexter get caught slipping and kidnapped. <laughs> you know what I mean? They done, they done caught they done caught Dexter slipping, man. Mm, that's what happens when he gets like emotional. I guess you know he gets caught, and now we we gotta f- wait until to find out what happens. Yeah, man. At the end of the day, like my philosophy, always stay ready. Actually, leave your, leave your thoughts below in the comment section. Let us know what you think is going to happen to Dexter in Dexter the next episode. Do you think he's going to fight the guy off? Or do you think he's going to get kidnapped and go somewhere? Uh, what, how do you think the next episode is going to begin? Uh, what are your thoughts below? But, like always, anything else you want to say before I we wrap up? Mm, thank you for watching. <laughs> don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next week, everybody. Bye. Have a good one. Peace.